Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están mis amores? ¿Cómo están haciendo? ¿Cómo le está yendo la semana? Este, how are you guys doing? Independent pretty girlies. Okay. IPGG squad. Today we're talking about a really, really important topic. Let me tell you, I have been wanting to talk about this topic for a while, but things kept coming up in the entertainment industry that I felt like, okay, we just have to cover this stuff first because it is wild and it actually serves as further proof of everything that we talk about and discuss and learn on this channel. For example, the Kiki Palmer case, the um, P. Diddy and Cassie case, you know, all these cases serves as further proof of everything that we talk about here. So I had to get those done first. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to tell if a male is alpha versus beta. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, so we're going to talk about if a male is alpha versus beta. And I want us to be able to actually take a look at some things here. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can show you. I don't know if this will work. I'm kind of doing it impromptu. Yes, we've got it. We have got it. Okay. So a lot of women don't know how to tell. Like, I know how crazy that sounds, but you will not believe the amount of feedback I get from women that are legitimately confused and don't even know that they're confused about what it means to be an alpha male versus a better, uh, what, are, what are they called? Beta male, male, right? So I want us to talk a little bit more about that today because it's actually not what you would expect, okay? Especially if we're looking at it from a psychological perspective, if we're looking at it from a biological perspective, economics perspective, it is not what you would expect. Okay, so let's see. So alpha, this isn't the best way, right? <laughs> Versus beta, that's today's topic. <laughs> Y'all, this is my first time using this, so we're kind of learning about it together. And then I guess I could just erase it. Okay, cool. All right, so what does it mean? What should we be looking for when, you know, any type of male tries to approach us, okay? This is really the main question. When I think about uh, the differences and how to distinguish between the alphas and the beta males, I think to myself, okay, what are those key features and characteristics? What am I supposed to be looking out for if any of them even tries to remotely come close to me, okay? And this is extremely important because this will translate into what your standards should be or at the very least, what your standards should be based off of, okay? So it's extremely important because it, it's going to translate into what your standards should be based off of. Um, it's going to serve as a guide, ladies, for what our standards should follow, the, the general theme of what is healthy as far as following our standards goes, right? 
I just noticed this and I'm like, well, duh, this is way better. Okay. All right. So we're taking a look at, um, you know, alpha. Oh, crap. Okay. There we go. <laughs> we're taking a look at alpha versus beta. I think that's how they, they, they say it here, you know? So let's let's kind of dive right in right and i think a good place to start would be to look at the definitions of these two words okay so i'm gonna go ahead and like um show that here okay if you if you all haven't watched the video on where i talk about if women really need males to survive or if men uh apologies if males and women truly need each other so that's a question that i answered in a different video because you'll hear a lot of people say things and especially women say things like well we need each other to survive which is not true that's just a lack of education go ahead and watch that video after this video okay so here we're gonna look up the definition of alpha Maybe we'll put male in there. Okay. So what is the definition of an alpha male? The dominant male animal in a particular group. A man tending to assume a dominant or domineering role in social and professional situations. Okay. Most alpha males are often taught of taught of as confident strong and successful this is going to be a major part when we start looking at the list there's a list of six things that you need to be looking for in order to identify if a male is alpha or not because like i've told you in several of my videos 97 to 98 percent of males are not alpha but they will lie, all of them lie. All of them lie to themselves and they lie to other people and they lie to women, especially um, saying that they are alpha, implying that they are alpha. When you hear them say stupid things like, well, I would never accept that from a woman, it's because they're confused and they think that they are alpha when women actually don't even want them. You know, you ain't got no woman on your phone. Uh, like today, not even one that might be considered ugly by societal standards. There's no one texting you. So I don't even understand why you're on here on YouTube harassing an, an only woman's group. I don't get it. So anyway, so confident, strong, and successful individuals. Confident is a big one. Strong, I'm going to talk about strength in the form of mental strength because you don't really need males when it comes to physical strength in today's society in 2023. They are actually the perpetrators. It's because they um, have more physical strength than women that we have such an increase in crime rates, in domestic violence. Um, it's actually a problem in today's day and age, in today's society. And um, that's the main reason why we have laws. It's not because women go out of control. It's because males go out of control. And we have to find a way to subdue them. And hence laws, right? Laws um, against um, uh, uh, violence in relationships, physical, mental, economical. We have to have these things in place uh, because 97 to 98% of males are trash. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. I was trying to think of a nicer word. They're trash. So I don't even know how else to describe them. They're not worth it. They don't have alpha male characteristics. Okay, I wonder what this says. The history of alpha male, what's the definition of alpha male? The term alpha male can be traced back to early human history when our ancestors lived in small bands of prides consisting of mostly males in the social structure. They're often top ranked individual 
individuals who act as the leader of the group. These males are have these males had greater access to food and breathing breeding opportunities and were thus able to exert their dominance and influence over the other members of the group. Okay. So alpha males dates all the way back to historical days where men would operate in groups and women would operate, um, males would operate in groups and women, women would operate, operate within their groups. Okay. And essentially what this is telling us is that males would operate in groups and they had leader males. And the leader males would keep all the other males subdued and under control. The leader males are the ones that would have the greater access to food, to resources, and to breeding opportunities. All the other males underneath the leader, the, the leader males, the alpha males, did not have access to those things, particularly to breeding opportunities, aka women. AKA women. So after World War, I believe it was World War II, is when um, the government changed a lot of things to give more males access to women. And the way that they did that was by restricting the rights of women. So women couldn't open bank accounts, women couldn't work, women had to stay in the house, women had to breed children, whether they liked it or not. Women had to depend on men for survival. So slavery, slavery. Um, so they essentially enslaved women to give more of these subpar, lesser than males rewards that they did not earn, that they cannot handle. And we're seeing it today. The collapse of males is because they really have no value. That's why they are collapsing, literally. More males unalive themselves, I believe it's 20 times more, 10 to 20 times more, at a 10 to 20 times higher rate than women. Women are graduating today as we speak at 10 times the rate of males from schools, colleges, graduate degrees. And I'm not talking just like an associate's level or high school level. I'm talking about we are going, we're getting bachelors, we're getting graduates, we're getting PhDs at 10 times the rate of males. And even till today, this society refuses to pay women fairly, right? For every dollar the male makes, the woman still makes a couple of cents of that do dollar. So how is it that women are literally, and I'm not just throwing numbers, they're 10 to 20 times more We'll look at the data on this in a different video, but how is it that women are still 10 to 20 times more successful than males in today's world, in today's society, especially in the United States, particularly in the United States? How? Well, if we look at all the other factors, we're more educated, first of all, okay? Research has also shown that women's empathy levels, women's ability to empathize, okay? What does empathy mean? Women's ability to care, support other people is 
quite literally, I believe it's 15, actually, no, 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 it's higher. It's higher than 30 times more than a male's. It's literally higher than that. But I'm taking the conservative route because I don't have the data directly in front of me. Our ability to plan for the future, to think logically is also higher than the male. So what does that mean? That means our financial literacy. Our financial literacy is 15 to 20 times higher than that of males. So when we get paid, even though we're not getting paid as much as a male is getting paid for doing the exact same thing, we're not spending our money on uh, strippers and alcohol. No, we're taking our money, we're investing it, we buy a home. Actually, another fun statistic for you. Women are buying homes for themselves um, at 35 times the rate of males. I believe it's 35 times the, rates, the rate of males. So more women are homeowners than males. Yet every male you speak to will try to call themselves alpha. <laughs> no. Literally out of the whole world, we have about 1 to 3% maximum alpha males. 1 to 3%. That's it. That's it. That's why the dating market, women aren't dating these males anymore because there's not enough alpha males. And that's what we want. We want true alpha males. And that's how it's supposed to be. Because as you can see from here, the alpha males had greater access to breeding opportunities, aka greater access to women. That is how it's supposed to be. So when these males complain, well, they only want like, they, they all chase the 1%, blah, 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 blah. So you want us to, to chase you, brokey. So we can be looking stupid and broke together. I don't think so. Right? So back in the day, what would happen is these alpha males, because they were alpha, they would keep all of these beta males under control through their leadership. Not, not women. They weren't here to sub, subdue uh, and control women. We, we had our own group. What they've done in today's society is they've reversed that. So now all of these beta males are walking around trying to control women. When what's supposed to happen and what has had been happening for years and years and years is the alpha males would control and subdue all the rest of the beta males. And in doing so, keeping the women group safer. Safer from the animals, from the beta males. Okay. While the women would also operate in groups. And with the alpha males, how did they get more opportunities for breeding? Well, not only did the women reward the alpha males for being alpha and working as hard as they do and being successful at it, the women would reward the alpha male, right? So the alpha male would essentially get the opportunity to breed with women. And women amongst the group operated as a collective whole. They, it's almost, it's like women would basically pass the alpha male around. Because <laughs> we're not, we're not going to deal with no betas. I'd much rather have an alpha 
And if I'm going to breed, I need it to be with an alpha male. Okay. And then once I'm done with him, you, you could pass him on to the next one. Just like that. So males, even alpha males, were the three O foes. They were the three O foes. Women would pass them around. Even the alpha ones, especially the alphas. This is history. This is factual. More recently, the concept of confident alpha, ma uh, alpha males has expanded beyond the traditional definition of dominant males in societal hierarchies. Today, the idea of alpha male boot camp can include successful and confident males who exhibit leadership qualities in various areas of life, including parenting. Including parenting. What is the percentage of males that actually stick around to parent their children? <laughs> Ladies, I need you to understand the percentage of males that actually stick around to parent their the children, their children on a daily basis is less than 40%, less than 40 to 35%. Yet, how is it that all of you males then will come and try to lecture women and try to lie to women and tell them that you're alpha? Does the, the, uh, They all claim that they're alpha. However, in a competitive environment, the title of alpha is not easily earned. Whichever alpha claims this status must possess a unique com combination of confidence, leadership, and influence. The concept of alpha, uh, alpha male status has a long complex history that can be traced to the study of animal behavior. In the 1940s, researchers observed the behavior of wolves and noticed that the top dog within the pack seemed to exhibit dominant behavior and hold the higher social status. Therefore, de facto, keeping all of the lower males in check. Pickup culture often promotes the idea that men can improve their social attractiveness and status by adopting certain behaviors and attitudes, such as being confident, assertive, and dominant. However, pickup culture has also been criticized because it's toxic, it's toxic masculinity and it objectifies women. That is not an alpha male. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the six things ladies that we need to be looking for if we're, if like if we meet a male and we're curious is this a, an alpha male i could give you the six checklists that will set you on the right path every single time okay. the very first thing that you look for if you're trying to determine if you're person or your partner or some random dude that's trying to talk to you is an alpha male or a beta is he an alpha or a beta or if you are a male and you're watching this and you're trying to determine am i an alpha am i a beta or you just thought you were an alpha you might want to think again okay the first thing that we're looking at is finances money that is the first thing. That's the minimum requirement. The minimum requirement is money. In order to be an alpha in today's society, especially with inflation, okay, you have to 
make and earn a minimum of $200,000 a year, minimum. You have to actively make, your salary has to be a minimum of $200,000 a year, especially now that we have inflation the way that it is. Minimum, $200,000 a year. If that sounds like a high number to you as a male, you not alpha. If you start complaining, oh my gosh, like, how, is she crazy? Like, da, 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 like the, the average household earns uh, uh, 30, 50K a year. You're not alpha. That's why you don't get it. That's why you don't make this because you are not alpha. You a beta. In order to sustain himself, a potential family, kids, nice home, all on his salary. He has to actively make, in today's society, at least $200,000 a year. Because an alpha male can afford a cook. An alpha male can afford and doesn't care to pay for a cook. An alpha male can afford and doesn't care to pay for maid service. An alpha male is not gonna look for the woman to do all of these things for him because he can actually afford to pay for those services. He doesn't care because he makes enough money. They, they all The alpha male thinks about how to make money and they succeed at it. So when they choose a woman, you think they're going to be worried about if the woman wants to get a maid or whatever, whatever? They're not going to be worried about that. This is the minimum requirement, ladies. You need to ask them how much money do you make? And if they don't make a minimum of $200,000 a year, we can't even get started. We can't move past that point because you're not alpha. Which means, what does that mean? What does that make you? Beta. That makes you beta. Let me see something here, y'all. So, 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 let's check out the definition of a beta male. What does that mean? What is a beta male? So that you can know exactly what that means. Because I know these males don't know how to read. I'm going to have to read it out loud. A beta male is a subordinate male animal. Subordinate male animal in a particular group. A male tending to assume a passive or subservient role in social or professional situations. You don't have a choice but to assume a passive or subservient role in society as a beta male because you don't make enough money. If you don't make enough money, that means you cannot provide adequate resources. For yourself, not to mention for anyone else, not to mention for a woman. You cannot be beta. So don't like when you go watching these videos and you want to leave your little comments, you need to understand that you are a beta male. We don't care, like, who wants to listen to the opinion of a beta male? You beta. You are a subordinate male. Can you imagine how dumb we would be if we listened to you? You are a, literally a beta male. No one cares about what you have to say. You don't even make enough money to sustain yourself with inflation today. Don't speak. Don't even comment. You know who you are. You know you beta. You know it.
So ladies, you need to ask them, how much money do you make? You also need to ask them, how much money do you currently have in your bank account? Let me see, because they will lie. Males lie as easily as they eat, sleep, and breathe. So you got to ask them, let me see uh, your bank account, because I want to see how much is in there currently. And don't wait. I would give it no more than two to three weeks of talking to someone. If you're talking to a male, if you just insist on continuing to speak to these males, first of all, make sure you're strapped up because these males are getting thirsty out here. They're losing their mind and they are starting to harass women more and more. So make sure you strapped up. Um, but secondly, ask them. I have to be able to see your bank account, sir. I'm sorry, because the last thing I'm going to do is sign up to suffer. And I can't invest more than two to three weeks into something that I don't know can be or someone that I don't know can be and is an alpha male, financially literate, financially stable. Okay. Overall, his net worth, it's good. The net worth he should be at depends on his age. So if the male, if he is between the age of 30 to 35, I believe, his net worth should be around $260,000. Net worth, net worth. If he is 35 to 40, that net worth should be around $400,000. If he's between uh, 40 to 45, that net worth should be around $500,000, I believe. And then it should go up if he's uh, between uh, 45 and 50, his net worth should be around $800,000 in a million. By the age of 45 to 50, literally a, a millionaire, he should literally be a millionaire at that point. This is, an, this is an, an, a very, very good indication of a potential alpha male, potential. Beta males can never could never in a million years. They can't even smell that amount of cash, much less that amount of cash and net worth, <laughs> much less have it in their bank accounts. These are beta males. Ladies, stop fighting over beta males. Beta, they are beta males. That's how I know, ladies, that you don't know what you're looking for. You don't know the definition of a beta male. You don't even realize that that's what you have. You don't even realize that that's what you're fighting for is a male that's a beta. So once they check that box and we've seen the actual bank account, we know what their net worth is, again, they need to present it to you early. Don't let them waste your time. Don't walk around trying to save their ego. It's not your job. They need to figure out their own egos. What is your job is protecting yourself. So stay strapped up in case they try to be funny. Okay. That's the first easiest requirement, the minimum requirement when it comes to is your male, is your male or is it a male an alpha male? Okay. The second is we look, then we dive in deeper because we want to make sure that they meet this first requirement when it comes to money and finances, because that equates directly to resources for you women, right? You don't want a male that doesn't have resources. You will suffer. This is a patriarchy. The males created it in this way. They created this patriarchy so that money rules. Why does money rule? Because it buys you freedom. It buys you comfort. So what, what does that mean? A lack of money will do. What, what will a lack of money do? You don't want to bait a male. You will suffer. You're better off being single, traveling, doing whatever you want. Date whoever you want. Don't sleep with them because you don't want to catch nothing. Or be triple sure if you sleep with any of them, send them packing on their way. 
Goodbye, sir. You cannot take a beta male seriously. You can't date one of these animals. <laughs> Neanderthals, sorry, Neanderthals. So once we've checked that box, now we, we dive in deeper. Because when you dive in deeper, that's taking more work on your end, women. And so you want to make sure that it's going to be, you have a higher chance of it being worth it. Worth, worth all the work that you're going to have to put in to vet this male. You're basically having to vet him. You have to vet him. Don't just, oh, I fall in love. Love has nothing to do love. Love isn't, isn't even on my list. I didn't even realize love wasn't on my list until this morning when I was getting ready to make the video. I was like, you know, love isn't even on my list. I didn't even put love on there because it's inconsequential. I'm going to make another video on the true meaning of love because it's not a feeling. Males lie to you. They're describing it as a feeling. If we look at it from, from a scientific and psychological perspective so we can actually see what is happening when someone feels that that emotion that we describe as love. It's literally chemicals and, and certain hormones and how they're operating with each other in your body. You're literally impaired. It is not a good place to be. You are impaired. What does impaired mean? You cannot make logical, rational, good decisions for yourself. If someone is causing that emotion in you, you need to leave him behind and work on yourself because that should not really be something that comes up for you because that means that you haven't healed your traumas. That means you haven't learned the truth about how humans behave, life, what your purpose is. Because the the and, and that also means that you don't love yourself first. If you love yourself first, no one else should be able to come and take that spot. Okay. So secondly, we're looking at actions and character. So in order to determine the character of the individual, we have to take a look at his actions. So we don't end up with a Diddy incident or, you know, with the, with the incident with, with Diddy and Cassie and any other woman that he messes around with. We don't want to end up in that situation. So just because he checks box one, which is the most basic requirement ever, does not mean he's the one and it definitely doesn't mean he alpha because like we just read being alpha is a complex you have to have a complex set of requirements not just one not just the financial piece so now we have to look at his actions to to guide us on the character of this individual of this male species Okay, so we're looking at his actions. How does he behave and how does he treat other people? How does he behave? How, how does he treat you? Does he keep his promises? Does he say what he's going to do and do it? Is he logical? Is he bombarding you too much too quickly, which essentially is making you question your own reality because this is what narcissists do. I'm using this as an example when it comes to narcissists. They will bombard you with all like surreal, a surreal experience within the scope of uh, three to four weeks up to three months. That is not an alpha male. That is an individual that... Ha lacks emotional control, first of all. So even without knowing that he's a narcissist, you can already see, okay, this person doesn't even have emotional control. How do you like me that much? You don't even know me. We just met. Relax. So if you don't get uncomfortable from those signs, then there's more that you yourself, ladies, have to work on. You have to work on your internal because those behaviors are super cringe and weird and quite frankly scary because that's not how human beings work. 
when you logically think about it, how can you be buying me all these things and literally sending me a, on a surreal experience? If you're thinking to yourself, this was this is so good, I can't believe it's happening, then that means that you need to question that experience. Okay. So we're looking at actions in order to help us determine the character of the individual that we're dealing with. That also means you let him chase because you cannot see actions. You can't see what his actions will be if you are assuming the role of the chaser. Is he calling you? Is he texting you frequently? Is he communicating with you? Is he communicative? How does he deal with conflict? You have to lean all the way back and chill and just watch. Don't text him in the mornings. Don't text him at night. Just watch. Just see what he does. If he doesn't text you, if he doesn't reach back out to you, if he doesn't call you, he ain't alpha. That's a beta male. You know why? Because alpha males, they know what they want and they're going to go for it. Period. That's how, you, you, you know, you don't get to $200,000 a year, especially in today's economy, without having that level of drive. So if he's not doing those things, yet he's the one that approached you or he's seen interested and he's trying to tell you that he's interested, that's not an alpha male. That's a beta male. Beta. Um, the, from there, we want to take a look at what his, it's going to be easier for us to start looking at what his values and beliefs are. So third, as we dive in deeper, to assess if this is an alpha male or not, we have to take a look at what are his values and what her, what are his beliefs. Okay, you don't want a male that believes that it is your job to be stuck in the house with no help, slaving and taking care of kids. That is a beta male mentality. I promise you, males with money do not think like that. You know why? Males because males with money don't care. They have money. They have money. So it's like they have the resources. So you are able to use the resources accordingly. And they, what they concern themselves most with is accumulating even more resources because they like the challenge. They like um, the pursuit of it. So I promise you that if you have a male, I don't care how much he makes or how much is in his bank account. If he's saying things like, yeah, the woman needs to stay in the home and slave and take care of the kids she you know she can't have a job so he's threatened by a woman essentially because he doesn't want her having a life and pursuing her goals you cannot be alpha if you're threatened by a woman i'm so I, like i can't i don't know how else to say that it's obvious it seems that like that would be obvious you know oh it's her job to stay home this and that and that so he's greedy with his resources on top of everything else That is not an alpha male. That's a beta male. Okay. And you're able to see, oh, okay, so these are the values and beliefs. This, These values and beliefs are not going to work for me because they put me in a subservient role. And that's not how alpha males think. That's not how alpha males think. Think about what we just read as the definition of an alpha male. Alpha males, the core definition of an alpha male are the males that put other males in subservient roles, not women. Women are over here on this side. We're in our own group. So true definition of alpha males they're not worried about what you're doing. Oh, you want to do this online or start this business or whatever? They're not worried about that. Because true alpha males are out to, to get beta males under control and keep them there. So if you have a male saying ridiculous things like, oh, y'all, she has to stay at home and they're trying to control you, 
That's not an alpha male. That's a beta male. Leave him alone. <laughs> He's weak. He's That's a weak male. Alpha males dominate other males. I can't say that enough. So the fourth thing that we have to look at is long-term viability, long-term viability. So now we've been able to see his finances, his actions to determine the character that we're dealing with, values and beliefs. So we have enough information and data to determine and assess his long-term viability with us. So I'm thinking five years, 10 years down the road, what might this end up looking like based on what I, the information that I'm seeing and that I have? So for example, when we're looking at actions to determine character, one of the questions we, we, might, we would ask ourselves is, okay, how does this individual deal with conflict? How do they resolve conflict within our relationship? And in general, so we look at five years down the line, how do I think, how does it seem like this individual would resolve this conflict or resolve a conflict, say, if, if um, you know, we ran into a disagreement um, or an issue within the relationship? Would he be able to handle it well? Would he be able to get through that? Okay, so we're looking for long-term viability. And this can take some, some thinking. You have to really, really process through this and see, okay, what basically you're looking at, okay, what are the red flags? And are the red flags too much to where, you know, this, this male is, is a beta. He's not going to work long-term. He cannot hold it together. For example, those rich um, athletes, that make millions and millions of dollars and by the age of 30 are broke. That's not, that's not a, that's not an alpha. Those aren't alpha males. Those are beta males. An alpha male has to be able to retain his position, not just get the position, but also retain it. And if you look at those athletes and the, those types of people that accumulate a million, millions of dollars and by the age of 30, it's all gone. And not only all gone, they're in debt, 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 I mean, debt, right? If we look at the makeup of them, you see it all over them. They're out, going out every night, drinking, spending on lavish parties and not, not investing. You can see all these things and you can see that there's no long-term viability. Okay. The fifth thing from there is we have to then connect the pieces like a puzzle, okay? We have to then connect the pieces to the lifestyle that we as women want, okay? So do and how do they fit into your vision and goals? That's the fifth thing. So now you're connecting everything that you found in one, two, three, and four and you're assessing them for how you feel like they would fit into your personal visions and goals. For example, is this a, a male that, uh, that is reliable? Is this a male that is consistent? Or is this a male that I will have to be a mother to? I'll have to clean up after him i'll have to you know clean the house basically be a slave and not even get paid for it and is that the vision that i have for myself so ladies before you ever even speak to a male you need to know and fully understand what your purpose is your purpose your personal purpose what do you want in your life what life do you want what are your goals because you need to be able to see if this individual will fit that. For example, and if when it comes to 
Number two, actions to determine qual uh, character. Is this an individual that argue, argues with you a lot, argues with you over little things? That's not an alpha male. Again, alpha males are not concerned with that. They are a, on a completely different playing field than these beta males. They're not going to sit here trying to argue with you, trying to tell you you should subdue yourself because I'm your husband. They are not worried about that because they go out and guess what they do? They subdue other males. Subdue other males. Keep them in check. So, you know, is this individual going to be arguing with you over every little thing and you're going to have to be worried about it? You look at their cleaning, their clean, their cleanliness, right? Do they leave their stuff all over the floor and now you're having to, you know, come home to that? Girl, you better run. That is not alpha behavior. That's beta disgusting behavior. Okay. Last but not least, number six, that you have to take a look at the overall effect and the overall effects on planet Earth and, made, and Mother Nature herself. So you, once you have one through five, you now have a good amount of data that you can use to take a look and, and see if, if and how you're pairing would contribute or could contribute to the planet Earth and Mother Nature herself, and if it is constructive. Okay. So with your pairing, are you forming an even greater force to be reckoned with? based off of one through five, or are you just wasting your time? Because you can't really, with him, you're not really forming a greater force because he doesn't have all of these traits. So you can't elevate to the next level by joining forces with him because he doesn't have all these traits. If he has all these traits, you have all your traits, then together, that's what elevates the both of you to the next level. If he, he, he doesn't have those traits or these traits, you're not elevating. And thus, what greater impact can you make to the earth and mother nature herself? If you don't have financial resources, if you don't, if he, if, he doesn't have financial resources, and so by de facto, you're joining with someone that has no resources, and you don't have, you have even less resources, and you will have even less resources as a result, because now there's two of you instead of just you, right? Um, and the actions don't, don't say good things about the character that you're dealing with, for example, okay? How are you going to have the peace of mind to write a book if that's what you want to do? How are you going to have the peace of mind to plant more trees and flowers contributing directly to Mother Nature if that's what you want to do? How are you going to have the peace of mind to have kids and raise them as best as you possibly can and contributing to Mother Nature and the earth in that way if that's what you want to do by raising um alpha males as well as women women how are you going to do that if you don't have number one if you don't have number two if you don't have number three if you don't have number four number five if when you're joining it doesn't create an even greater force to be reckoned with you cannot do it if he's putting hands on you if he's being violent with you so that means you let him slide on number two and a number three. So you let him slide on the actions 
and character piece, as well as the values and beliefs piece. You also let them slide on number four, the long-term viability piece. So if you get hit and he's violent and he's putting all that anger on you, physically, mentally, psychologically, how are you going to get to number six, which is actually having and knowing how and what to contribute to Mother Nature herself and planet Earth? How? It cannot happen. Think about it in the same terms as Maslow hierarchy. This is a hierarchy. And I'm going to create the hierarchy, actually. It's a hierarchy. At the tip, at the top of Maslow's hierarchy is self-actualization. This is the equivalent of said self-actualization. Otherwise, why are you even together? What is the purpose? There is no purpose. All right, y'all. So think through that. I will leave the six steps in the description below. And we will continue to talk about each one of these steps in the videos, in the future videos that I'm currently making for you as well. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe, like, and leave your thoughts in your comments below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.